Put you down. Go. Mm -hmm. So just, just to confirm. Confirm. Yeah, so if I'm posting things on social media. Yeah. And it's a listing. And it's a listing. We need permission from who? The what? listing agent. What you do. Yes. Even if it's just like a snapshot of whatever. Absolutely. Yeah. The snapshot is copywritten probably. Yes, I know. Okay, yes, the yes. The fine, <coughs> the fine for that can be ten thousand yeah. dollars. So you don't really want to do that. So you just call the listing agent. Like, hey, I'm going to post this. Can I? May I? May I? I and yeah. I would email them. Yeah. Now you have a tracker. Yeah. Right. Something to track. Because okay. yeah. okay. yeah. you think that they would want the free publicity unless yeah. you maybe you would think. You're, but, but I know that some people can be. Like, yeah. I don't know. You know what assume means, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, assume, I know. Yes, yeah. okay, yes, so let's not assume that. Yeah. Um, yes, go ahead. Okay, if you're posting your own, you know, if you walk through an open house, you want to shoot that, it's probably going to be okay. But if you want to use their photography, it's not, not going to be okay. So the foreclosure is the exception? What about the foreclosure? What can you post in the YouTube video of the it was just a picture of me. Oh. Oh. I didn't even tell him what the address was. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Well, that's smart. Like, oh, that's why you have to shoot. Like, like, oh, I thought you were filming yeah. them. trying to be like this guy. Yeah. No, no, no. I was just sitting back in my car. I just had the shades on because I had them on. Oh. And so I gave him my intro. And I was, I was just doing so cool. <laughs> you, were, you were a secret agent. I was a secret agent, right. So, no, with that I didn't even give him the address because yeah. I wanted contact me, right? That's kind of a hot topic. So, and, and they did. And I have some that's interested in mine now. Right. Um, so we've talked about all these different lead generation sources. I wanted to go through all the ones that were listed here. The recommendation that I hear, and I heard Gary Keller talk about, and it probably works for most of us, is you want to focus on three primary sources. Number one is your sphere of influence. Your database is going to deliver most of your business if you're in contact with it. Right? So focus on that database. There's gold in here. Right? If somebody can take a phone book and call 100 people and get four appointments, how many can you get from people that already know you, hopefully like you, trust you, and would like to do business with you? So that really needs to be a system. And then pick two other things that you like. If it's social media, use social media. If it's door knocking, use door knocking. Um, what I heard from Jack Welch, who used to be a CEO of GE, when he was helping people kind of figure out what they wanted to do, he said, take your right hand and your left hand. And your right hand is the thing that you like to do. The left hand is the thing that you do really well. When you cross them, where they meet, that's probably what you should be doing. So the same thing with marketing. Focus on your database, and then pick two other things you really like. Open house. I mean, I'm an open house person. That's how I generated, that's how I got most of my database, was by sending open house, right? And then internet, mostly outbound electronic email to people. That's where a lot of our folks come back from. So, pick those. And finally, become a lead generation machine. So you want to be doing your outbound calls. You also want to be doing your drip campaigns and letting people know about your website because that's marketing. We're just talking in the back. If you've got things going out, listings on automatic notification, if you send out to your database, like the stats once a month, that's just working for you. It's out there. You don't have to make that call. You don't have to be with that person. It's reminding them that you're in the real estate business. You're still in the real estate business. Gary Keller says, my fear of failure was greater than my fear of lead generating. So like the boys in the slide said there, if you're not making phone calls, you're burning money. Right? If you're not contacting people, you're burning money. Okay. your action plan, get ready for your next class.
about your ahas. What did we get out of this today? What what hit you? Um, your achievements for the week. I really am a believer in the power of small wins, right? Sometimes setting a big goal, like I'm going to go out and run a marathon next week, it might be a little bit big. But if you can run from one telephone pole to the next, then that's a small achievement. There's power in that win. Holding open house, my goal when I held open house was just how many people can I add to my database? So selling the house that day was too big of a goal. Power of small wins. Think about what your achievements are, burn those, write your journal. And keep working, keep practicing, that's what we've learned today. All right, I'm gonna call that a wrap. Thank you, thank you for being here. Thank you. Thank you.